Well, Billy Joe, you wanted to throw an impromptu birthday party. Now you got yourself in a whale of a match tonight at the fairgrounds. You and Trailer Park Trash against Shane Eaton and the Colorado Kid. Well, you just tell me one thing. How many people has Shane Eaton beat? Nobody. Colorado Kid, you washed up, punk. I don't care if you go to WCW, WF, or any of those leagues. I don't care. But tonight in Nashville, me and the trash man are going to take you two punks out. Let's take a look at that whole Nashville card. It's big time wrestling tonight, 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 only at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena. Bell time starts at 8 o'clock. The door is open at 6 o'clock. Come by and see Christine Jarrett, and she'll sell you the best seat in the house. Look at this opening match. The Wild Boys return. That's right, Steve Neely and Ben Jordan will take on Jason Lee and Trailer Park Trash. The winner of this match will get a tag team title shot. Shane Eden, one of the leading contenders for Rookie of the Year, and we'll be announcing that in a couple weeks, will take on the centerfold. Stephen Dunn returns to Nashville to take on the 451 pound male stripper, Frenchie Riviera, with Paul Adams in his corner. The Colorado Kid, still climbing the ladder on his quest for the North American heavyweight title, will take on Dutch Mantel. And in the main event, Ladies and gentlemen, it's a hot one. And talking about hot, Paul Adams got hot last Saturday night at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena, if you know what I mean. This week, he's bringing in the tag team of Nature Boy Buddy Landell and Flash Flanagan to take on Doug Gilbert and Wolfie D. Anything goes, falls count anywhere in the building. Doug Gilbert, Wolfie D., Take it on Nature Boy Buddy Landell and Flash Flanagan. That, my friends, is going to be an all-out war when the Nature Boy returns to the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena tonight. Got lots of big action. Cameras will be there. A big TV taping, of course, in Nashville next Saturday night also. Let's talk about action on the road coming to Dixon, Tennessee. On January 9th, Friday, January 9th at the Freeport Center, Wolfie D, Flash Flanagan, Colorado Kid, the Midgets will be in Dixon, along with Mike Maverick and Frenchie Riviera. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to see you tonight at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena. Big action starts at 8 o'clock. Dangerous Dub Gilbert, Wolfie D against Buddy Landell and Flash Flanagan. With me now, ladies and gentlemen, Wolfie D. Wolfie, you asked for the match. I have granted it. Falls count anywhere in Davidson County tonight, you and Flash Flanagan. That's right. I think Flash Flanagan needs a little attitude adjustment, if you know what I'm talking about. And I got just a thing right here to adjust your attitude, boy. So tonight in Nashville, Tennessee, I'm back, Nashville, and I want you to know that you're going to be right out here Saturday night to witness Wolfie D beat Flash Flanagan's brains out anywhere in Davidson County. I'm going to pin you. And that's the bottom line. Going to happen tonight. Come on out to the fairgrounds early. Let me tell you, a celebration tonight. Bell time, 8 o'clock. Six big matches, main event. Falls count anywhere in Davidson County. Can you imagine this? He could pin him at the racetrack. The battle could go downtown. Whoopie D against Flash Frenemy. Let's go to the ring and Michael St. John and Paul Adams. Referee Robert Briscoe checking. Brick House Brown returning to Music City Wrestling, and he'll take on Wolfie D, and right away, before the referee can get anything going, Wolfie D is attacked by Brickhouse Brown, and Brickhouse Brown, talk about somebody out of the hood, here's a man that can pierce six it with anybody in professional wrestling. And I'll tell you what else is interesting about it, Michael, both these guys well known for their prowess as a tag team, in tag team competition, but tonight you see them both gonna try and prove themselves in singles competition. Well, the fact of the matter is you got Brickhouse Brown, who was a member of the Gangsters. You got Wolfie D of PG-13. You got two wrestlers in here that know no rules, de de defining their own rules as they go on. And right there, Wolfie D almost on a three count on Brickhouse. Look at this. And Brickhouse Brown goes flying out of the ring and onto the floor here at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena. And you're absolutely right, Michael. Both these guys, they're from the hood. They break all the rules. I don't know which one is a bigger hoodlum. Well, you said it, Paul Adams, and I didn't, and I'm not going to agree with you a lot of the time, but right now I'm going to because these two men, I have seen more dastardly deeds done by both of them, and they have no sense of pain for their body. Right there, you see Wolfie D crammed into the steel pole of the ring, 
head first. And this man, he had no, no business doing that to him. Brickhouse Brown rammed Wolfie D's head right into the ring pole. But you know what? I said they're both a couple of hoodlums, but I didn't say I disliked either one. And you would probably like the style of both of them if you had it your way, knowing you and your managerial ability and where you come up with this. This is the kind of wrestling that you think is the new generation of wrestling right here. That's exactly right. And given my temperament tonight, you might have to hold me back, and I might go down there. Right now, Brickhouse Brown taking the measure of Wolfie D as he has just gone, if you would, to the hood with his tactics and techniques in the ring, putting Wolfie D back into the ring. And I'm a little surprised right now that Brickhouse hasn't, if you would, gone for the kill. And you know what? I've mentioned to people around here, especially Burt Prentice, what the referees are like in this town. He better watch out for Wolfie D's hubcap. I don't even see it down there. He could use that at any time. Well, the fact of the matter, Paul Adams, is that Wolfie D has a very important match right here in Nashville, Tennessee, right here in this arena tonight, as he will be taking on his former partner, Flash Flanagan, in a no-time limit, no-disqualification main event where falls will count anywhere in Davidson County. That's exactly right. And evidently, see, you weren't here last time when Flash turned on Wolfie D. Basically, what he did is he gave him a folding chair necklace, and it looks like Wolfie D's wanting to wear one again. This Saturday night, tonight, in Nashville. Brickhouse Brown softening up Wolfie D after pounding his head into the steel ring pole earlier in this match. And Brickhouse, head first, found nobody home. And that hard head of Brickhouse Brown went face first into the mat. And Wolfie D decides to take measures into his own hand. And I'm surprised, honestly, to see Brickhouse backing up here. Usually both these guys are full steam ahead. Wolfie D putting Brickhouse Brown up on the throne, if you would, the top turnbuckle. Goes in, goes behind, what's he gonna do? Oh my goodness, high risk maneuver off that top rope. And Bulldogs into the center of the mat. Paul, wait a, what is this, Paul? Flanagan just hit the ring, Flanagan just hit the ring. Flash Flanagan coming in from nowhere. <laughs> Referee Robert Briscoe calling for the bell and Flash Flanagan gonna get started on Wolfie D early. Puts him into the ropes and drops him around the neck, the neck right into the top ring rope and Wolfie D now being double teamed by Brickhouse Brown and Flash Flanagan. We better get some help for Wolfie D from uh, PG-13. I want to see what kind of condition he's in tonight for that match in Nashville now. Look at that. DDT and Wolfie D is down. Flash Flanagan very proud of himself. Well, anytime you get two on one, that's what's going to happen. Well, they keep ringing the bell here. They may give him a 10 count tonight. That may be the end of the career for Wolfie D. We hope not. Let's take a break. We'll be back with more music.